Some denialists like to throw up, sorry, throw out literary references when attacking people who are worried about climate change. Why? Well, I guess it makes them feel erudite. Maybe they hope that a passing knowledge of Greek myth or history will give them an aura of plausibility. Whatever. Cassandra is one of these. In Homer's Iliad, Cassandra was the daughter of the King of Troy. She had the gift of prophecy. One thing she didn't see coming was that when she annoyed the gods, they didn't take away her gift. That'd be too easy. No, they fixed it so nobody would believe her, and the gift became a curse. So here's the unintentional hilarity. Cassandra was right. Her world ended. Maybe this is why you don't hear it so much anymore. As an insult, I mean. Next up, King Canute. You know, the king who had such a big head that he went and tried to order the tide not to come in. Except, he didn't. Showing the same respect for literature that they show for science, the denialists have gotten their facts wrong. King Canute was worried his hangers-on were overestimating his powers, so he went and ordered the tide not to come in to prove that no matter how big and powerful a human seems, there are some things beyond even them. It's actually a story about the dangers of hubris, the limits of our capacity to have the world as we want it. Oh, the irony. I can hear denial of spluttering, but he's deliberately missing the point. By invoking Canute, we're trying to show that natural cycles are more powerful than puny humans. So my question is, which part of a coal mine is natural? What's natural about an oil rig? What's natural about increasing the atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide from 280 parts per million to 560 parts per million in a geological eye blink? Finally, going for the comedy effect, American whack jobs will drag out the story of Chicken Little, the young chick who runs around saying, the sky is falling. If denialists are really looking for a myth that fits our circumstances, they could do worse than the Faust myth. We've made a deal with the devil, and there will come a time when the devil wants what's his. Skepticism is how science advances, ish. The whole paradigms and falsifiability and epistemic regimes thing is another video. Denialism is about sticking your fingers in your ears and shouting la 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 very loudly. It doesn't help anything to allow denialists to pretend to anyone, including themselves, that they are sceptics. <laughs>